Applied Composites Engineering has been in business for over 35 years uh, and it's always had a core competency of advanced composites. And what that means is really it's, it's carbon fiber, right, uh, parts. So it's taking uh, fibers and resin systems and, and creating uh, parts out of that. Um, and that's been long-standing within the company for years. And it went, started in the auto racing industry, moved itself into sporting goods, uh, to automotive, and now uh, we, we have a full focus in aerospace. Epicor has really helped us automate our business process. We used to do paper timesheets on the floor, and when you have 40 employees times five days of work, that is a lot of handwritten timesheets that you have to key into the system. The largest business challenge we had was we were getting long-term contracts and that created issues with materials demand, getting, uh, collecting data off the floor. With these longer projects, we were finding constraints in the material ordering process and when we needed it and when we were going to be out of material and uh, Epicor was able to help us solve that problem. Epicor has given ACE a lot of flexibility in the software by offering us computer options uh, for the full office users, as well as the M manufacturing execution systems or the MES workstations. By getting data into the end user's hands or into the production worker's hands a lot faster, it allows them to be more efficient. From the back end, it has really helped our team, the IT team, um, by um, making the infrastructure more robust, allowing for um, the IIS changes in Epicor 10 um, to help us be more efficient. Epicor has really done a great job providing history data to us, and we're able to take that and build reports um, and dashboards that, that really allow us to see how long it takes to make certain products. We're able to take the job information and the operations, identify when they started and when they finished, identify the average time, um, and then we, we can also take that data and look at minimum time it's taken and the maximum time it's taken so we can better identify the, a ballpark range so that when we quote in the future, we know where we're gonna be at with that part. Epicor has allowed us to connect employees in real time in a variety of ways, primarily through dashboards, which allow us to track where things are on the production floor. If we get into um, looking at jobs um, to know where that job is on the production floor, if we have a customer call up and ask how something's coming along or if customer service needs to check in on something, they can go into the system, see where it's at, go track that down. So that really allows us to connect in real time to see where something's at on the production floor. And it also allows us to track our material. You know, if we need a material right away or we can see that in the pipeline, we can get that ordered very, very quickly. Um, it gives us more visibility that, that in, in other cases or spreadsheets could not provide for us. Epicor helps contribute to the growth of our organization because we have that stable platform at the foundation. Over the 10 years that I've worked with Epicor personally, the people are what makes Epicor so great. The, from the support representative to the salespeople to the people you interact at with at conferences, the people are really the driving force. I think that's sometimes in the business world we get hung up on uh, the technology or the processes or you know if we, whether we made money or not. But I think we forget about the people aspect and I think Epicor has a, a solid group of people. Absolutely, we would recommend Epicor to other um, companies in the, in the aerospace industry. Um, it's been nothing but good for us. Uh, we've been able to scale with this. We, we feel like it, it covers all of our processes that we do need. So absolutely, um, it's uh, the attentiveness that we get from support, um, the, um, just I think the, the conferences themselves, the education that comes along with the program, um, I think are second to none.